What is up my ninjas? This is Sims Three Loser and are you ready for an adventure? I sure am. Uh this is well I'll let him explain it. The Watcher, and this is your home. It is a land of limitless potential. Limitless? Over millennia, you watch the land grow and mature, waiting for the first people to arrive. I have. They would become your followers. Really? I have followers? Your powerful gaze gave the people inspiration. They became I'm awesome. and prosper. You marveled as they became a civilization. Hmm. You were revered above all else. There was even a great statue erected in your honor. Is that what I really look For like? Time, the people were happy. But it could not last. Why not? For all their good intentions. The people lack judgment. You watched as their civilization was overwhelmed with violence, disease, famine, and dire chinchillas. God damn it, fucking chinchillas. Reflecting on these events led you to an epiphany. People are dumb. Merely watching them was not enough. If you could just reach out, give a gentle push in the right direction, would it not lead the people to a better future? Probably. But how to direct an entire civilization? What you really lacked were heroes, men and women that the mm. others hmm. would follow. These oh, heroes yeah. would become your hands heroes. with which to mold a new world. You had only to wait for the right people to arrive. Oh shit. And now the day has come. Shit's about to go down. On a voyage, oh yeah. The great kingdom. He and his allies possess the ambition you seek. With your influence, they will give rise to a glorious new civilization. Alrighty then. The kingdom is ready to take shape. The people are eager for guidance. Their destiny is in your hands. Oh yeah. Arise, watcher. The story of the yeah. kingdom. I'm the fucking watcher, bitch. <laughs> okay, this is The Sims Medieval. It's a game that was released a few years ago. I haven't played it in a really long time. Like, a really long time, so I've pretty much forgotten everything about it. I said I was going to do a Let's Play on it after I finished Island Paradise, so here it is. It's an epic game, but it's not like The Sims. You have to have goals to do. It's more like a castaway type of game. Speaking of castaway, I am finishing that. But I am starting Medieval. I'm excited to play it. I haven't played it in a long. I remember. I remember. I did had a. Bu I did have a bunch of fun playing it. So, we'll see where this all goes. I'm actually very excited. It took like six hours to download this from Amazon, though. So yeah, it was thirty bucks on Origin, five bucks on Amazon. Yeah, fuck Origin. Five bucks for a digital download. Well, it was thirty on Origin. So yeah. Okay. Welcome to The Sims Medieval. To start, you need to select an ambition. For now, choose an ambition. Choose the ambition New Beginnings and click the next button. Okay. New game. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what's this? So it has achievements, yada, yada, yada. Okay. Name your kingdom. Westeros. Okay, and ooh, unfurnished, let's go the traditional. Okay, let's do this shit. Oh, I wonder if it takes as long to load as a sim. I don't remember it taking long to load. I did turn up the settings to max behind the scenes, so I don't know if it's going to run right because I maxed out everything. Okay, this is my castle. You are now in kingdom mode. This is where you will manage your kingdom and place buildings. All right. Keep an eye out for this. Mm, not now. Okay, I got it. I know how to use the buttons. I've played The Sims before. Above, you can see the state of your kingdom. This panel has a summary. I can't click on it, so yeah. The monarch is your hero sim. Click on the green marker. Okay, let's create a monarch. Let's create a monarch. Now, if you guys know me, I'm obsessed with like medieval type stuff. Okay, I'm obsessed with medieval type stuff. I love Game of Thrones. 
I'm very tempted to create Robert Baratheon. God. Should I... Man or woman, man or woman. If it's gonna be Robert, then it's gonna be a man. If it's gonna, if it's gonna be a man, then it's gonna be Robert from Game of Thrones. And if it's gonna be a woman, it's gonna be Cersei. Let's go with Cersei, because she's a fucking badass. Let's go with Cersei. Cersei. Lannister. Okay. You're a woman. Saba Quimsy. Okay. Cersei's lighter than that. Not that pale. Okay. It's thin. Not very muscular. Okay, I heard like the face details thing. That's interesting looking. Age modifier. Okay. Let's give her some traits. Now, first she's a very bad character, so let's give her some evil and eloquent. Because she's good at talking as well. Let's also make her bloodthirsty. No, she's actually... Is there a power-hungry one? Huh. Because she's power-hungry. Oh, let's go with bloodthirsty. If you've never watched Game of Thrones, you probably don't know what the fuck, who the fuck I'm talking about, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, let's give her something really pretty to wear since she is the queen. She's the queen, darling. Give her her blonde hair, because... Mm, Cersei would never marry any of this. Uh, let's see. No. None of this is right. Hmm. The music stopped. Oh, there it is. I was... Okay, let's go with this. Let's go with that. Let's change our eye color to green. Okay. Can I change the color of this thing? At the top? Could I? Ah! <gasps> yes, let's change it to red. Not the... Not that. The emerald to red. Because the Lannister colors are red. And gold. I believe. This can be golden. Oh, that doesn't really matter. Okay. Go back to the face. The Cersei Lannister is supposed to be like really beautiful in the books. In the Saga of Ice and Fire series. Change her eyebrows. It's been, it's pretty much the gameplay dynamic of the game. It's very similar to The Sims 3, as a matter of fact. It's just slightly different. It, it's, it, it won't take any time to get used to if you've played The Sims 3, so. Did they, wear make did they wear makeup back in these times? Well, obviously they did. Or else it wouldn't be in the game, now would it? That just makes her look slightly tired. Let's not do that. Get a little bit of that. That'll work. I love how they actually went the extra mile and made everything very medieval looking. Not like half-stepped like it would be in The Sims 3. Cersei Lannister. Let's give her a nice red and gold dress. No, that's too big. This matches perfectly. This totally looks like something that she'd wear. That's perfect. That is actually very perfect. Okay, and so that's it. Though we don't really pick any sleepwear or anything. I think you can unlock more clothing as they move on. I think I did everything. It's very simple. Let's save her too. In case I want to use her later on. If you know what I mean. Just kidding. Okay. So we made our queen, Cersei Lannister. Okay, now what I do? Now that you have a hero, you embark on a quest. So I'll click on my quest thing. First steps. The dust has finally settled on your construction of, gra of a grand throne room. The seeds of a glorious new kingdom had been, pl had been planted, and soon a civilization would grow and cover the lands for miles in all directions. The one thing Westeros needs now is a ruler. Someone wise and powerful who could unite the people under the kingdom's cause. Okay... Blah, blah, blah. Let's do this. Get in it. 
Okay, so it looks like... No, keep the edge scrolling off. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. I know how to work the game. Gotcha. Okay. What the hell is going on? Oh, they made it so you can rotate all the way around. Didn't they? You used to not be able to do that. Okay, this game is very different from The Sims 3 in, a, in such a way that you can't, like, fully... You don't have absolute, con absolute control over the camera. So, yeah, you have to work with that. So what she wants to do now is... This is my quest goal, I think. So I'm supposed to go see up in the mirror. I think there's... Yep. Let's go gussy up in the mirror. The game gets very intriguing, actually. I really like the gameplay. This is just... This is this quest is the one that they always give you. You have to start off with a monarch. And I can move on to, like, wizards and witches and Ooh. knights and spies and thieves and all sorts of cool little characters that I can play around with. But you start off with the monarch. And it gives you a quest. The beginning quest. It's very simple at first. Okay, you're gussying up. Fast forward. Hurry the fuck up, bitch. And they have mootless, just like the other Sims, which is interesting. Perfect, now I'm a little bit more focused. Oh yeah, they have a focus meter, I forgot about that. This is your focus meter. You can maintain high focus by staying well rested, keeping your belly satiated, I don't, and engaging in, I can't read, and engaging in interactions that align with your traits. In addition to increasing your quest performance, blah, blah, blah. Buffs. Oh, they're called buffs in this game, aren't they? Not trait, not moodlets. Buffs. Now he now she wants to discuss castle matters with this dude. Discuss the castle. I have my settings on max. Everything's turned all the way up, so. And it's moving perfectly, so. That's a relief because the Sims 3 would not be. The only thing that's not maxed out right now is the resolution. I, I keep it at um, manageable 720 so I don't have to upload in 1080p, which is a hassle to do. Okay. Uh, the throne room is all done, my lady. We need more resources to begin the next building in the kingdom. Uh, I do enjoy getting my hands dirty once in a while for the betterment of my kingdom. Oh my god, Cersei Lannister would never say that shit. I have the Watcher. So it's basically like map mode, but slightly different. Okay, and it wants us to go look for wood. So she's going to go into the forest to find wood for the kingdom. I remember this quest, because this quest, you have to do it every time you play the game. So if I sound like I know it all right now, Trust me, as we get on into the game, I won't know shit, because, yeah, i played this quest dozens of times, the first one. Speed her up a little. I think they, they have to walk everywhere. They never introduced horses into this game. Okay, I got it. I got it. I can fast forward shit. I know, I know, I know. Leave me alone. Go away. Okay, thank you. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Um, discover and collect wildflowers. Are these... She does not have the ability. How do I discover something? <laughs> Click on the strap with like, oh, yes, if I'm not selectable, then the strap is yours, something that you cannot collect. Once you discover wildflowers, click again to collect them. How do I discover them? Oh, go over there. Discover them. So she's discovering these flowers. Oh, and they just turn into beautifully colored flowers. Even with the settings on max, the graphics are nothing compared to the Sims 3 graphics. So maybe that's why it runs so much better. At least I think my graphics are on max. Let's check it really quick. Oh, I turned the advanced rendering's not on. Holy shit. Okay, that'll it'll be on in the next episode. And then we'll see what the game actually looks like. That's the one thing you need to have on in the game if you want. If you want to get some higher quality. Next episode, the graphics will be higher. So sorry about that, guys. Okay. Let's go with some more wildflowers, collect these. Oh, wait. She's already done what she needs to do. Let's... What am I supposed to do with her? Challenge her to a duel. Fight. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, monarch challenge to duel. Cersei, enough. Are you ready to die, bitch? Egg the grab, bitch.
Okay. Oh, Cersei's in her battle armor. Okay. I don't remember exactly how this works. Hilt smash. Get that bitch, Cersei. Do it again. Wait. Available in nine minutes. Oh, shit. She cut me. No, ah, bitch. Wait. When can I do it again? I think as you get better, you gain more moves or something like that. Hilt smash. Cersei. Fuck this bitch up. Oh yeah. There we go. Don't even try me home, girl. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit, because it looks like it might take a while. Hilt smash. Oh shit, she did it to me. Oh, she um she gave up. That's what you get. I should have her executed for fucking with the queen. How do I do that? I can't. Center the stocks. Damn it, why can't I do that? Did she just disappear? Bitch just disappeared. What am I supposed to do? Collect wood in the forest. No, where the fuck is the forest? Is it like a rabbit? I th I'm pretty sure it's a rabbit hole. Yeah. So she'll walk into these trees and then vanish. That's one thing that's similar about this in The Sims. That's one thing that is similar. Okay. The wood has been collected, so the kingdom will soon prosper. Okay. Get the fuck out. Now what do I do? The wood is perfect. Now what? Go to the graveyard for some reason. The graveyard's right outside the cave. Let's go there. Okay, so right now what she's doing is she's basically going around getting shit set up for some reason. I don't I, I don't I don't know. I'm just I'm just the clicker. I'm just clicking on stuff. The game's doing what it wants to do. This is the graveyard. Very small graveyard for an entire kingdom. Well it is a new kingdom, so. Discuss grave digging. Okay, there's a problem with grave digging. My lady. You mean your grace. I am your queen. Bitch. Tell us my lady. Your grace, motherfucker. Well, that's that my lady shit again. Motherfucker, I am your grace. Well, my lady, I was wondering, blah, 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 blah. I gotta go in the damn cage myself. I'm the fucking queen. The hell? Okay. Uh, Cersei collected stones, blah blah blah. At the bottom, Cersei reached an underground lake. She stumbled upon a small chest sitting in a puddle. What she do? Open it. Okay, I just received $125. What's this? Locations. Um, what am I supposed to do? Wait, what am I, what's this? I don't know. No. Locations, path to the village. Okay. Oops. It's very difficult to cl click. Okay. Go to the village, Cersei, apparently. I think this is another rabbit hole. I'm pretty sure it is. Lots of rabbit holes in this game. I'm not looking forward to it. What's this? Go to the village. I thought that's what I was doing. Okay, see? It's a rabbit hole. At least they don't just disappear. You get to see them walk away. They don't just disappear. That's a good thing about this game. So she's apparently going somewhere in this area. What am I supposed to be buying? Let's get... Let's get a frog. And buy. Okay. I guess it's just introducing me and everything. Okay. Uh, a slevet lazy perp uh, approached Cersei and then bowed. Have you ever heard of... I have heard word of your arrival. In your honor, I have prepared two gifts as to build in your kingdom. I can't read. Which virtue would you want to bring to Respros? Safety or power? Power? Fuck that. If I have power, that is safety. I received the Monarch's Blade of Strength. Is that it? Equip that, Cersei. Equip my new blade. 
Oh yeah. Now what do I do? Check the safety of Dylan. I didn't say safety, I said... Whatever. Are you okay? What am I supposed to do now? What did you say? There's a bully? There's a woman in town square. She pushed me into the mud and called me names. This happen This can't happen in Westeros. A bully in my kingdom? I don't think so. Well, actually, in the fictional world, Westeros shit like that happens all the time, and nobody does shit about it. Especially not the queen. Uh, blah blah blah. Send the bully Molly to the stocks, bitch. I've been wanting to do this the whole time. To the stocks. To the stocks! <laughs> and change back into your, um, queen clothes. And what's this? Get to the judgment zone. Why is no one sending her to the stocks yet? Oh, there they are. See what it looks like? Okay, and then she just walks calmly to the stocks, apparently. Oh! What's going on here? Throw eggs at the bully. Well, she's not here yet. Okay, there she is. Okay. Let's throw an egg at her. Keep in mind, guys, that this isn't how the whole game is. This is just a tutorial level. It's telling me how to do everything, basically. For the monarch. And I don't always play as Cersei. I play as other heroes as well. Okay, I threw an egg. Now what? I'm waiting for this quest to be over, kind of. Uh, return to the throne room. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Whatever you say. I can't imagine Queen Cersei just walking around Westeros just without, like, guards or anything. Okay, I am here. Okay. Click to make a choice. Let's entice the rugged handsome bard. Okay. Trait. Comfort with Welch. What, did I just make friends with him or some shit? You jackass. I'm the queen. I will fucking kill you. You know I will kill you. Okay, friendly. Ask about health. Friendly. Gossip, friendly, get to know, friendly, chat, friendly, ask about religion. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, stop playing the damn thing. I, 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 please stop. Okay. So I'm just supposed to increase my relationship with this dude. I'm the queen, I shouldn't have to do that. I'm the fucking king. What's this? She's hungry. Oh, shit. Didn't even notice. Did it work? Friendly rough house. I don't know what any of that is. Looks like their relationships go up really quickly in this game. And she's going to eat some onion soup. Okay. I hope you enjoy that onion soup. But we'll have to watch you eat it in the next episode. I gotta go, guys. I gotta cut this episode short because I don't like these episodes to be longer than 20 minutes. So I'll talk to you in this later, and peace out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Peace out, my ninjas.